Good morning friends, welcome to this session on evolutionary programming. First of all, I am thankful to Aben and Smith for this uh, presentation. I have made some changes to their presentation. So, uh, first of all, uh, we know that uh, how the genetic algorithm works. Generally, the problem is uh, represented that is encoded in some form and we have seen that how the traveling salesman problem we encode in the form of the array and then there is a selection of the parents for the further operation of crossover and then after crossover the mutation operation is performed and the generations are executed and at the end we get the pool of solutions from where the fittest solution is selected as a final solution. So there is slightly change in this uh, evolutionary programming and here uh, there is no crossover only mutation is there and of course this evolutionary programming is used to solve the optimization problems as the genetic algorithm. So this is the summary table of the evolutionary programming. So the refresh, uh, representation is uh, real values. So real values can be used. Then recombination that is crossover, there is no crossover. The mutation, for mutation we use the Gaussian perturbation that is the Gaussian distribution curve is used with slightly changes from the mean and that's why its perturbation means the differs slightly. Then the parent selection is uh, deterministic. So every parent will generate the child. There is no fitness criteria for the selection. So every parent will generate a child. So, we will get number of parents and number of childs that will be equal and it is indicated by mu. Mu indicates number of child and mu also indicates number of parents. And when these uh, parents and children are there as a pool of solutions, how to select the survivors for the next uh, generation. For that the tournament selection is used. In tournament selection 10 matches are there for each solution and who gets the maximum wins are selected for the next round. So we will again come back to the basics how to represent the chromosomes in evolutionary programming. So the object variables are indicated by x1 comma x2 dash 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 xn. So for example x1 may be indicating the percentage of marks and x2 may be indicating the number of hours you study in a day and the next part is the mutation step size and it is indicated by sigma. So here is the representation of the chromosome for evolutionary programming. So it is just the difference between the normal GA chromosome and this one is here. This is the different thing you, you see. This is what operation you are going to perform or how you are going to change the uh, parent solution to create a new child is decided by this one sigma ok. So again this slide is showing the representation x1, x2, xn with the sigma that the operation to be performed or you can say the changes standard deviation you are going to add to x1, x2 and xn. So parent selection so each we have already discussed each individual will create one child each individual will create one child so it is not biased by the fitness. 
so even if the fitness is low still the uh, parent is going to create one child so this is the uh, gaussian distribution of probabilities so we are going to use the probabilistic approach to generate the children's so here it is showing the sigma so this is a mean that is zero and this is one standard deviation this is one standard deviation is shown and here you can see if the value of standard deviation changes then how the shape of the curve changes so mutation so the parent this is the parent and this is the offspring that we will be getting so this x1 dash 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 xn and sigma1 dash dash dash, dash xn and uh, we'll get the uh, offspring x dash 1 dash dash, dash x dash n and these are the new standard deviations that will be the child so we have to the main thing in this evolutionary programming is we have to transform this from this parent to this child so how to do this how to get these values x dash 1 and sigma dash 1 and it's true for all x dash n so here is the formula sigma dash i is equal to sigma i into 1 plus alpha into n of 0 1 now what is this n of 0 1 it denotes the outcome of the random drawing from the Gaussian distribution with 0 mean and standard deviation 1 with alpha is equal to 0.2 that is this is nothing but in my view uh, we can get the new solution we have the sigma and we want to find out randomly some value between these two 0 mean is 0 and this is the one standard deviation so randomly by n 0 comma 1 we get some random value between between these two so with this formula we will get the value of uh, sigma i dash and with that sigma dash i we can get the new value of x dash i so x dash i is equal to this original value of x i in the parent plus this new value we have acquired with this solution into n of i 0 1 so again probabilistic approach we have to find out and the boundary rule is this sigma dash is less than this is the mean mean in the normal distribution implies that sigma dash is equal to mu zero so this boundary rule zero one prevents the standard deviation very close to zero and thereby allow the effective mutation so as we have already discussed on this this n01 draws value randomly between 0 and 1 0 to standard deviation 1 to get the new value of this one now next operation is recombination and as I as discussed earlier there is no crossover operation that is no recombination so next point is uh, survival selection so we have mu parents and each parents create a child so mu plus mu we have these are the number of solutions mu parents plus mu offspring and pairwise competition in round robin format each solution is evaluated against 10 other randomly chosen solutions the mu solution with greatest number of wins are retained to be parent for the next generation actually we have mu plus mu 
solutions and from those um, we will be keeping for the next round here value of q is 10 that is this 10 matches are there you can say to select the parents for the next round or you can say uh, solutions for the next round so this uh, is the evolutionary programming algorithm i have prepared according to whatever presentation we have so first step is every parent will create a child with mutation from the parent and offspring mu plus mu select solution for next generation using tournament selection repeat step 1 and 2 until generation criteria is satisfied so this will be executed until the generation criteria is satisfied and whatever pool of solutions we will get from the though that final pool of solution we will select the fittest solution for the as a solution of our problem so that's all about this evolutionary programming thank you